One of the most common chart types I get asked about is doing progress to a goal or progress towards budget, how much above or below budget you are, that sort of thing. Just kind of comparison type charts. Um, a lot of times people just use a double bar for this, right? Two bars when comparing a value to another value. It works, it's simple, it's great. There's a lot of other ways you can do it though. You can get a little fancy and have a little bit of fun. That's what this is all about. Um, this is primarily for folks on the newsletter, just giving people a little guide for how to deconstruct the template because this got sent out on the newsletter. If you want that, there'll be a link to it uh, below, or you can go buy it if you want a copy of it, I guess, if you don't want to join the newsletter. So here's how we're doing this. Um, a lot of these are using donut charts. So this is a donut chart, this is a donut chart, and this is a donut chart. We've just styled them in different ways. So there's a lot of like taking a segment, making it transparent by selecting no fill over here in the fill menu. Um, there's a lot of calculating the size of each segment to show the progress, and you'll see all that beneath here. It's very straightforward if you comb through, click each one, and look at the data. You'll, you'll start to figure out how we did it. Um, there's some fancier stuff in here as well, so like obviously this kind of pictorial fill chart. This is again a bar chart that has been overlaid. So we've set our series overlap at 100%. If we separate it, you'll see it's two separate images. And what we've done is we've used a image picture or texture fill, and we've just used two separate images. Those are included in the template file here, so you can test it out yourself if you want. Uh, all the bar charts use this overlapping thing for the most part. We've set our overlap at 100% and just styled our bars in different ways. So like in this case, our, our one bar that's on top is a little transparent with like a white outline. Very straightforward stuff there. Again, you can click in and deconstruct this if you want. Where things are maybe a little fancier in here too, also like we have a scatter plot here that is a connected scatter plot, meaning a line. So this is two series in a scatter plot. Look at the select data tab for this. If you want to break down how it works, you can go to select data here and you'll see. But the process is pretty straightforward. We've set our Y value the same. We've set our X value as zero to one and then zero to 0.75. That's basically it. This one bar chart is a little confusing. Folks sometimes get lost on this. We have a bar and then the second bar we clicked into went to change chart type and we turned it into a line chart with a marker because it's a single data point. There's no line, just the marker. And then we just turned that marker and styled it as a line. That's an option under your marker options here. That's all we did, added a little drop shadow to it as well. Those are the basic concepts here. There's nothing too crazy in this that you won't be able to figure out by just clicking into the charts, looking at the data selection, seeing what each segment is coming from and trying to piece it together yourself. But I know some of this can get a little confusing and just using the select data tab can get a little confusing. So if you have questions, just let me know. Hope that helps everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Bye for now.